Hey everyone, I'm Lydia Halley, and I'll be your instructor for this Git for Beginners course on CodeCloud. Throughout my career as a software developer, I've also mentored a lot of new and advanced developers in order to help them improve and optimize their work. And by writing technical blog posts in a more visual way, I try to make those overwhelming computer science concepts seem less overwhelming. And one of those topics is Git. Through this course, I want to show you that Git is actually an amazing tool to work with, and I want to make you a fearless Git developer. In this course, you'll learn how to get up and running with Git, how to use it in your daily life, and how it actually works under the hood. We'll cover the possibilities of having a local and remote Git repository and adding version control to your project by using branches. And of course, we'll cover all the useful commands that you can use with these branches to make working with Git even more powerful. Besides some common Git commands, we'll also cover how Git actually works under the hood in order to get a better understanding of what we're actually doing. After each section, you'll get to test your new information with the hands-on labs in order to fully grasp the new concepts. You'll work as if you're working on a real project with real team members. So you have to push code, pull code, resolve merge conflicts, and we'll validate it in order to make sure that you actually understood it correctly. I am really excited to be teaching this interactive course on Git and I hope you are too. So let's dive right in. Git is an open source distributed version control system. That itself might not make a lot of sense to you right now. So let's break it down into some smaller parts. Let's say you're working on building a website. And after a while, you decide that the website is ready to be deployed. Your deployed website is now available on your domain, and anyone on the internet can visit it. On your own computer, you have a local version of that deployed website. After a while, you want to make some updates to the website. You change the background image and add a better subtitle to the landing page. It's not ready to be deployed yet, though. It's just some draft changes that still need some other things before you actually want to deploy the updated version. Suddenly, your friend texts you saying that he spotted a typo on your website. In the navigation bar, the About button is spelled with two Bs instead of one. You quickly want to change it to make sure that there are no typos on the deployed website. But wait a second, we changed the background image and added a subtitle which we don't want to deploy yet, so we can't update the contents of the deployed website without overriding all the changes that we've just made locally. In this case, Git can help you out. Git is a content tracker, it stores all our code changes, and it's also a distributed version control system. A version control system basically means that we can go back in time and work with a different version of our code base since Git stored it all, and work with branches, which will be covered later on. Distributed means that it has a remote repository which is stored in a server and a local repository which is stored on the computer of every developer working on the project. So every developer has access to the full copy of the code base. Git is a version control system. We can basically go back in time without losing any new changes. When we've made changes, we can save the current state of the website. This way, you always have all your versions stored, which makes it super easy to go back in time you have access to your entire project's history, the changes you made, who made the changes, if you're working on a project with multiple team members, and when it was made. Git can help us out to fix the button bug for the deployed website. Currently, we have two versions of the website, the deployed landing page and the updated landing page that contains our local changes to the background image and subtitle. We want to go back in time to the state of the website when we deployed it. With Git, we can go back in time to that state of the deployed website without losing our new changes. We can quickly fix the button typo on a deployed website without losing any of our work. After fixing the button and deploying the updated website, we can easily switch back to keep on working on our new local changes. Thank <laughs> you.